Today, I learned there are nerve endings that exist only to recognize a gentle stroking touch. Their activation decreases the heart rate and activates the smile muscle. Their optimal speed is 3 to 5 centimeters a second, which means we are genetically wired to cuddle and caress each other at predetermined velocities. So, um, anyone want to gently stroke me at 3 to 5 centimeters a second? I just called my new boss by the wrong name in a meeting in front of everyone. What happened next? Awkward silence from everyone. Nobody corrected me. I eventually found out a few minutes later when someone called him by the right name. Call him by the wrong name again, but a different one than you just used. No, call him by the same wrong name again, but forcefully and with eye contact. You're the boss now. Introduce yourself by his name and call him by your own name. You're the boss now. My girlfriend is on a cruise, so while she's gone, I'm gonna cut the sleeves off all of my shirts. Why? She's pretty much 85% of my impulse control. Oh my god. How to summon a dad. Make a circle out of power tools. Screwdrivers and wrenches will do in a pinch. Place a pair of socks inside sandals in the middle of the summoning circle. Chant, Hi hungry, I'm dad, over and over. And touch the thermostat. Oh, people calling each other other romantic pet names sarcastically at first, but gradually developing into genuine heartfelt affection as the story and their relationship progresses is potentially lethal to the likes of lovey-dovey bitches such as me. Dude, the switch from a girl worth fighting for to coming upon a decimated village in Mulan is the most kick-in-the-teeth mood change in all of cinema. That scene shift did more for our generation's understanding of the horror of war in 10 seconds than Game of Thrones did in 8 seasons, and it did it without showing us a single dead body. Just a doll. That's it. I'm covered in blood for sexy reasons. Also, I just got stabbed. Don't suppose there's, uh, anyone here willing to tenderly clean, stitch, and bandage my wounds while calling me an idiot in an exasperately fond tone of voice, is there? Extremists kidnapped an American journalist in Iraq. They're about to execute the poor soul, named Clark Kent. Dude, imagine him trying to talk out of it just so they won't find out his identity when they're inevitably unable to kill him. And he succeeds, and it turns into the story of this brave journalist who convinces captors to let him go. Or... Bruce sees this on one of the news and is just rubbing his temples and sighing before going to save him or asking someone else to do it. And this turns out that this scenario happens every often to the Man of Steel. <sighs> Alfred, I'm going to the Middle East before terrorists find out Clark is Superman. Is it Tuesday already, Master Bruce? And the Robins are taking bets on who succeeds first. Clark talking his way out, Batman rescuing Clark, or Superman just appearing and cock blocking the rescue. Introducing pre-cracked egg. Finally! Why is his neck like that? I enjoy. Bones healing stronger after they break is like when your mom does a double knot when tying your shoes. Your body's like, there, because you're a clumsy frick. Conclusion, break all your bones here twice as strong. That's, that's just my hero academia, isn't it? Gonna go stand in a creek, do you guys need anything? Yeah, I need you to find a leaf and gently set it in the water and watch solemnly as it floats away. Why have we all done this? The eyes of God. Rohodnike, Bulgaria. Here it is at night. Pretty sure the first picture is also at night, but super cool regardless. Oh no, he's here. Hey, what's up? He'll never get to drive the molten steel tractor. Why even live? Mmm, forbidden French onion soup. I don't understand the big obsession with pop punk. I can't hear you over how much I hate my town right now, thanks. Character says, I like bread, that one time. Fandom. Character has an obsession with bread. Bread is character's true love. Draws character as bread. Every meta joke in fan fiction is about bread. The character's room is wallpaper with bread. <clears throat> this is literally what happened with Travis and Tacos. Guys. Nintendo, we can't have alcohol in our child gambling games. Oh, but we have a solution. Vacation juice. Pour it into Isabel's mouth, you filthy animal.